Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cosmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Mass Effect Andromeda and my first playthrough of the game, a play on hardcore difficulty. Well, last time we made it back to Aya, and indeed, on this occasion, people did welcome us with uh, maybe not open arms, but at least uh, they opened the door for us so we could get in. And we had a bit of a fun day in there, doing some smaller side missions, etc., etc., and uh, talk to the important people. Now, what we're doing in this episode, we are going to the Vault on Aya. I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna be a really big one, and not one of the smaller ones, so probably a little bit more like Eos, or maybe even bigger, we will see. Hopefully, uh, doing this opens up more of the game to us, because, yeah, that is basically what we're waiting for at this point. We want more of the galaxy to open us uh, open up for us and we also want to know which other two planets we are going to make it better so that's the plan however first we are going to go to the tempest and we're going to deal with our strike teams so uh, let's get back there as a starting point all right then we are back on the ship and as usual, we need to leave the planet. I don't know why we need to do that, but we do. Also, I think that we are ready to look at this. Yes, indeed. Collect all the rewards. Lovely. All the data, minerals, and nice stuff. Cool. So that's that. We're waiting for the next. Beryllium, titanium, backup life support, etc, etc. And the strike teams. How are we doing? Foxtrot, did you do well? You did no level up, though, sadly. Uh, Yankee must have done that, and no level up. Good. And our new team, Golf. Yes, good job. And finally, our best team. Did you do well? You did. 83,000 experience points. Were you on... Wait. You're not on this, right? I don't think you are... No, 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 no. You're not doing that right now. Can you do these, by the way? No, not at all. 25. Wow, we need a lot to get up to gold. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, you should be able to do these at the very least. So, uh, yep, 86. I am okay with those odds. As for this, I think that, yeah, I'll put you on silver. Sure. Uh, can you do those? Yes, you can. Absolutely perfect. And then these we don't really care so much. That's 78, 84. So that one was better for you. Lovely. And let's also claim the rewards for that one. I really should sell some stuff, shouldn't I? There we go. Uh, we've done that. But bunch more stuff. Ooh, the widow. We like the widow. And a new shotgun, also kind of lovely. Uh, there are a bunch of people who. Damn it, I don't want to talk. I want to hear you talk. Go away. Um, we are going to have to talk to people on the ship. We know that Drac wants to talk to us. There is probably more people that wants to talk to us. So we're going to get on that uh, after the vault, I think, before we sort of do anything else. But I do want to do the vault. So uh, it is back down to Aya because we're li we like to burn fuel in this game, apparently. So let's get back down there and head out to the vault. brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? Well, it is indeed very similar, and I actually thought that we would do a mission here. Maybe we aren't actually doing a mission. Possibly. We'll see. Uh, it is indeed very similar. I think what we need to figure out is what's different. Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. 
This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming, doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. Uh-huh, sounds reasonable. Also, is it... Uh, I want to say that Meridian, isn't that the name of one of the um, areas in Super Metroid? Isn't it Meridian? I think it is, but it's uh, if it's not, it's very, very similar. Yes, I do agree. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where, Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people and mine. I, I, I like how, how we're so focused on us. It's the end of us. Well, it's only the end of this little section of people. <laughs> I mean, the rest of them will survive back in the Milky Way, but whatever. Uh, all right, then. Uh, I can be a little bit... Um, a little bit uh, sort of... Emotional, I suppose. You know what? I'll, I've been a little bit too much on the right side, haven't I? Let's be a little bit on the left side again. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down. For all our sakes. You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Alright, so in fact, not a mission. Not at all. I don't exactly know why I expected that to be a mission, but uh... All right, fine. Uh, let's have a bit of a shout with Ephra in that case. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different. Not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell her the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. All right then. Well, that is quite terrible, yes. One of your own gave her to the Archon? No wonder you hushed it up. This isn't about hiding the truth. I'm working to capture him. Make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. All right, so Kedara, we have heard that name before. That might be our fourth planet, actually. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go exactly? Kedara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. Right, well, Kedara it is. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done.
Ooh, you stepped in the wrong pot. Or is that a, is that an expression? I don't know. If not, I just created it. All right then. Locate the planet mentioned in security footage. Search Kadarfan Garden Relic, and oh, that's just the uh, add-ons, so to speak. Uh, so, what uh, footage are we talking about? What footage were we talking about? Uh, it's not on that one, but that is indeed a new one. Uh, that is not going to be it. Uh, that is uh, that one, yes. That is Havarl. Oh, right, we are... G I forgot to do this, by the way. We need to go to Havarl just to return this thing. Completely forgot about that. Uh, don't think I have have got this yet either, did I? I don't think so. Um, and yes, we have that one on board. Which I don't want to do. Uh, but yeah, what was that about checking something, something or another? Uh, where is that? I don't know. I think that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, we have some stuff to do. So, uh, if that is the case, what we're doing in this episode is uh, we're going back to the Tempest and we're talking to people. And after we talk to people, we're doing some of the side missions before we head over to Kadara. Because uh, we, have, we have a couple of th things that we need to do, uh, including going back to the Nexus, etc. What the hell is making noises? Uh, Alright then, uh, back to the Nexus and have a bit of a chat with our companions. But first, there seems to be a new mission over here. Uh, where where are you exactly? You are inside this place. So I think that we... Yes, we come to that from here, I believe. Go around. Is that the port uh, director thingamajig? Or is that the thing I was supposed to scan? No, it's, not, it's you. Who are when you? When you have a moment, we should talk Pathfinder. This is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Voneron. All right, what's that title? A Voneron. That's very... I don't know what. Ah, linguistics, not my strength. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer. You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Oh, absolutely, we'll do that. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Lovely. So, missing satellite nav point, sure. Uh, we'll do that when we can. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. What are their expectations? All right, back on the uh, Tempest. Uh, no, yeah, Tempest. <laughs> uh, and we do get to have a little bit, bit of a chat with Tan. Indeed, don't be yourself. Actually, do good on this occasion. I convinced them we're friends. Try not to mess it up. I do not mess it up. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Cool. So is that, does that mean that there's actually going to be people from the Nexus and Aya next time we visit? Because that's going to be kind of cool to see them mingle Anything with the Angaran. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> All right then. Yes, indeed. We are going to have a chat with people. I don't know where they are, so I'm just going to do this. Joel. Thank you for checking. But I'm. All right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? Well, that's you know? true. Uh, so indeed, 
Wanna have a chat? I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You are kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? I mean, sort of, yes. Uh, are you? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? I mean, I would say that me and my brother are close. Mother is gone, father is gone, so there's really not much else to say. I was. Am. My mom and dad are dead. My brother's in a medically induced coma. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, so we can say that, uh, yeah, a bit friendly here. And say that we are glad that you are here, indeed. I like having you around. Specifically you. Because of my skill and knowledge? Not really. Because you enjoy spending time with me as much as I do with you. You do? Yes. You're fascinating. And special. And strange. Aw, oh, thanks. And I mean it. Alright then, I hope that that wasn't necessarily a romance option, because it didn't look like it was a romance option. But alright, had a bit of a chat with Jal. Uh, let's have a bit of a look over here. Is there anyone in the biolab? They aren't just conquerors, or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. Well, in that case, we really can't show them any mercy. But I kind of do want to do that. I'm not, I, I'm not giving up on the cat, all right? The cat can be turned around, I am sure of it. If we just get rid of the Archon, maybe the rest will, uh, you know, fall in line, so to speak. So I'm going to be a little bit uh, emotional here. That's what Jal faces every day, now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Well, we kind of don't need it. Uh, he would have held yes, but uh, you got me. I can give you my take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. I mean, it is kind of, of a mess, yes. Uh, but I think we're handling it well. We're flying blind. It'll take years to put all the pieces back together. Our biggest headache is the cat. Work goes on, I guess. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. So, do we do we have a lead on that by any chance? Can we talk to you a little bit more? That vault on Aya was so gorgeous, so alive. And Meridian might be the key to the others. No wonder the Archon wants to control it, like everything in Helios. All right, yes indeed. Do we have any news on it? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight recorder and making sure we're ready for a fight. All right then, fair enough. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. So by the way, let's actually check in with Jarl as well, because the, he might have something else to say, possibly. Hello. 
There's always more to say and to learn, isn't there? Absolutely, but for now, no. I don't really care so much about more regular I'll see you later, stuff. Doll. Stay strong and clear. And I do wonder, have we done his uh, loyalty mission? Like, are we done with that? Or is there more to do with his loyalty mission? Because, I mean, it can't go on for too long, can it? All right, then. Let's have a bit of a chat with Gil, I suppose. Did I hear right? You're going after the Archon's ship? Looks like it. Last time we crossed his path, you nearly broke my baby here. Tell me you have a better plan of escape this go around. Not really, no. We'll be winging it, as usual. <sighs> I'll get my tools. Just... Stay out of the skirt, huh? Well, we'll try. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. I mean, that's Kalo's job, after all. Uh, Alright, then. Uh, I did hear the voice of Drac. So let's see if he wasn't down here possibly can it be inside it yeah here Looks we go like pictures of the exaltation chamber yeah the ket are using some angar and made medical equipment could be a lead i just want an edge on those ket bastards if they ever got their hands on sid i'd well imagine if it was scott okay so not drag but vetra but also yeah what is the story with vetra i don't even know what her loyalty mission really is but yes i would be devastated i don't know what i'd do we're all that's left of our family same here sid was so little when our father left and i was well her age now yeah i can feel that i know what it's like to lose a parent i've lost both now mom died before we left our father didn't die or maybe he did we don't really know he just didn't come home he was involved with some bad things bad people Eventually, it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Well, let's hope that that is uh, indeed how the situation is right now for you, and that no one is actually here that sort of knows that uh well uh, i'll make sure that you are okay we're a team i'll make sure you're always there for sid thank you Ryder. that means a lot to me at least sid's older now maybe i don't have to worry as much i should get back to work talk to my people see if they've heard anything chat later uh-huh how about chat now because we haven't really been talking to you before either I thought I hated the Ket before, then we learned about Exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. And what I mean, not talk to her, I have talked to her, obviously, but what I meant is, uh, not lately. Uh, have I not asked about this? I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Alright, what about your mother? Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Oh, well that's uh, indeed kind of sad. Uh, so yeah, where did you live then? Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. Well, it's a bit of a sad story for sure. So, how did you actually get out of that alive? How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. Well, that's all fair. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Go, so that's Vetra taken care of. Now, does that mean a Drac is in, like, the other room, perhaps? No, and uh, Liam is not here either. I definitely heard 
Sprague's voice, didn't I? I mean, that doesn't always mean much in this game, because sometimes you're just <laughs> um, finding people in a very... Rather, you're hearing people, even though they're actually not there. So, that's Liam. All right, let's have a chat with Liam. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. Uh-huh, well, apparently I can't actually answer that. That's interesting. Uh, why, why am I talking about my skill as a Pathfinder? Well, let's see. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. Well, that wasn't really, <laughs> really much, no. So what are your thoughts about the squad at this point? What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? Well, uh, I think that our skills do add up, but it has been hard. We're all struggling with a job that just landed in our laps. It's a blur sometimes. I bet Lexi's flagging all kinds of psych warnings. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. Well, go. Cool. Lovely. We'll talk later. I know it. And no, I am not interested in him romantically. Also, the pie jack. Hello. Be careful around the ship, okay? These things make for a good snack. Or target practice. Yeah, see, there's Drax's voice, but he doesn't actually exist right here. All right, then, by the way, let's have a bit of a sh look here. Nothing new, really. Only one thing from Lexi. So given recent events, uh, this seems like a good time to refresh you on the Andromeda Initiative's mental wellness program. This states that mental disorders are real. Stress, PTSD, anxiety, and depression are not just being tired or making something out of nothing. There are complex conditions that require proper attention and care. And relatable. At some point, your colleagues have likely experienced the same feelings. Regardless, those around you are supportive and sympathetic to what you're going through. And treatable. A broken leg takes special treatment, rest, and adjusted workload to properly heal. Mental disorders are no different and can be alleviated with medication, therapy, and support. Come by the medbay if you have questions. I don't really have so many questions about that specifically, but we are going to talk to Lexi anyway. Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The exalted are Ket. There must be a way to fix them. Well, we can probably hope for a solution, even though there might not always be one. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. I mean, I didn't mean to, but surely we don't know that yet? We've barely scratched the surface of what Ket are capable of. The Exalted are new beings. It's more than a transformation, it's a birth. There's no going back. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. Well, you are doing well on that. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course, but also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. All right, then. And, uh, by the way, if they are so crafted and so super, super special, why do they die so easily? Because they die really, really easily. <laughs> I don't exactly understand that. Uh, all right, then. So we are... Still on the Rank hunt for Drak. Hello, Drak. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. Well, he is indeed a threat. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. 
All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I like how you think. That is, uh, that is indeed very interesting, yes. I hope it doesn't come to that. But exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. Yes, it, it, he does, but uh, also, yes, he wasn't really expecting us. Uh, but you know what? No, I'm actually not. I'm gonna keep on the left as much as possible for a little while here. Uh, indeed, we have our own army, you know. But I've got you and everyone else on board. Huh, true enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. We'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. That is a very good sentiment, yes. Anything else you want to chat about? Ryder. No, apparently not. We can talk more later. Sure. Alright then, so let's have a bit of a look at the other side. Well, that's just the bathroom, there's not going to be anything here. Haven't we... Haven't we talked to everybody except for Kalo and Sue? Because I think that we have. I'm going to do it. Alright, let's uh, have a bit of a chat with these people as well. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. Wanna, wanna shout about that? What can I do for you? Okay, are, are you fighting? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. Sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. All right then, well, fine. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. And what about Suvi talking about some test or something? The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated, and remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Did not even know you couldn't talk, so... Is everything fine? Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the lick test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. Or did you, did you lick something? <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? Well, she definitely was. She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research, and your father's. AI and implants, they achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me, and then lived out their lives while I slept. I mean, of course they are proud of me. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. 
Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Raider. I needed that. Anytime. Well, there you go. And also, yes, there is one more person I haven't talked to. Sort of the most important one. PB. Oh, come on, think. Think. I need something. Who are you talking to? Ryder, shit. You shouldn't sneak up on someone like that. I'm just talking to myself. Don't tell me you never do that. You seem stressed. No kidding. I'm not built for this kind of homesteading. Don't like people knowing where I am, where my stuff is. Oh. Well, m maybe just chill out a little bit. You've got to relax. You're starting to stress me out. I'd like to. I need to. Yes. When I felt like this back home, I'd look for a zero-G chamber, or at least an isolation tank. Some place to just drift away. I could really use that now. If I may, gravity can be overridden in the escape pod. You can create a zero-G chamber. Of course! Sam, you're a genius. It's easy. It'll make a huge difference, Ryder. You'll see. You know, there's room for two. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. That's all I need to hear. And this should do it. <sighs> Close your eyes. Relax. <laughs> Let yourself go. Mm. Oh, this hits the spot. Ryder? Yeah? There's something else that would relax me. What's that? That's the spirit. Wanna fool around? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you have something else going on. I can be utterly discreet. Just fun. Two people blowing off steam. No strings attached. Only if there's no strings. Well, here we go. Didn't actually think it would come this uh, early, but uh, no, 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 no. I want more than that. I'm into you, PB. I'd want it to mean something. Oh, huh. Good to know. Let's not rush things. Just enjoy this. <sighs> Well, all right then, that actually was slightly less than I thought would actually happen, but sure. Maybe I'm coming on a bit too hard on her, but uh, that must be what we were supposed to do. We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find. And this Meridian vault might jumpstart all the others. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. All right then, we can flirt a bit, but let's talk about Kalinda a bit here. Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador, respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh. Uh, Let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. All right, then, fine. And uh, what's your take on the Meridian? So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Good. I like your opinion. So let's have a bit of a flirt as well. I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Good. Keep on it. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. All right, then. And as a final bit, uh, let's just see if there's any new emails. There is a bunch. Of, wow, there's a lot of them. <laughs> All 
All right, communicated here from Jal. The Moshe sent some news uh, from Aya that she asked me to share with you. Under her guidance, we shows her again, allowing study in the Aya vault. It comes with great risk, of course, so she's restricting participation to the, her brightest students under armed guard. Although she doesn't have your ability to interface with the remnants, she wants to be ready to assist you however she can once Meridium is found. These are interesting and exciting times, yes indeed. And from Lexi on Jal, uh, thought you should know, I spoke to Jal, after some reflection, he seems to accept that the process of exaltation cannot be reversed. I apologize if I was harsh before, I can get a little passionate when it comes to patience and my professional opinion. I know you're only trying to help, and ultimately we both just want what's best for the Tempest crew. I will continue to run tests and study the data you obtained from the Cat facility regarding Exaltation, but right now I must believe what the evidence tells me, which is that Exaltation is permanent. We shall see about that. Okay, go, okay. okay. Hello. Uh, all right, from Vetra. Thanks for listening to me. I hope I didn't come across whiny. Could my life have been different? Sure. Could have had a dad, a mom, a rigid upbringing, and great prospects in the Turian civil service, with the stiff collars and the yesers to go along. What I'm saying is, difference uh, not always better. I don't regret anything or what I've done to get where I am. Don't regret coming here either. Good. And finally, PB, the chill. Uh, typically, I'm not the type to send mail, at least not mail that just reflects or lingers on stuff. But I'm okay letting you know how great our float was for me. And the weird thing is, I think it was actually better with you there. Add a little bumper car whimsy. Hmm, you might be growing on me a little. Not sure if uh, that's good or bad, but I'm not gonna ponder that right now. Wanna say shell? That's absolutely fine. We'll, we'll take it a bit relaxed. All right then, Dr. Tan, writer, I've been reviewing the messages you forwarded from the Angaran populace. It's encouraging to see that even in these initial phases of contact, we have supporters among them. Though it's equally clear we have our work cut out for us in winning over the rest. I'm not confident you're on the right track. I would have been surprised if the Angara hadn't expressed skepticism. First contact is a complicated situation, and if roles were reversed, I'd be suspicious of them if I if they arrived on our doorstep. Thank you for passing these messages along that provide invaluable insights as we navigate these tricky waters. Did that actually that had the uh, little icon as a message, but it was probably just a follow up on the uh, mission that we did. And then Carrie, hello Ryder, I think I'm hearing a garden world, a whole new species. If you can talk uh, on the record, you know where to find me. Absolutely. So does though, that is the path of a hero, so talk to Carrie, which is something that we will do. Yes, indeed. Uh, we have a little bit more time on this um, episode, so we are going to make it back to the Nexus before we head over to Kedara. Back in the docking area, there is actually stuff we can do. Hello, Carrie. We can have a shout with you. You apparently are here. Free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. Can flirt with her if I want to. No, 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 that's fine. It's going rather well. The Angara are survivors, and they're willing to help. They'll be great allies. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. Oh, I am not gonna agree to that, no. Aya is a sovereign planet of the Angara. We have no right to settle there. Strong stuff. Here's hoping we don't need to. Okay, that's... Colonist registration is up since last episode, as is morale. Tan sent this for you. Inspiring, huh? All right, I got... I don't know what I got, but whatever. Uh, Vetra is here, but you are not... You're not the one that we need to talk to. Who the hell are Ignatius? Who are you? Uh, hi. Gil Brody is your engineer, right? That's right. I'm Bailey. I used to work with him in the hangars here. You wouldn't happen to know if he's available, would you? Available for what? Depends on what you mean. His duties keep him pretty busy. No, I mean like a... Oh, never mind. Just a... Tell him I said hi, huh? Uh-huh, I think I know what you're talking about. Saucy bastard. Uh, we have a question mark inside here, but I can't go here. Why can I not go here? I'm the Pathfinder. Hey. Okay. What's up with this place? 
Why can't I go in there? Okay, fine. If I can't go in there, I'm not going to bother. Right. We are making it uh, over to the operations center. Talking to... Um, uh, we need to talk to Addison and possibly Tan. I don't exactly know if he wants to talk to us. All right, we have made it here. Addison, what's up? You want to have a chat with me? Pathfinder. All right, then. Uh, we are talking about, yes, getting specific people out of Cryo. I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of Cryo. Did you forget the stink that playing favorites has already caused? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Uh-huh. Well, that's good. Uh, so where's that Brecker you said? I mean, isn't that just this? Can't do much with that. Can I chat with you by any, any chance? Yeah, let's have a bit of a chat about that. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there will be no doubt that you're responsible. Well, that's great then. Uh, ooh, do I need... Can I do both of these where I'm a shooting. I'm gonna go for the chief engineer. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were disheartening. Now that Prodromos is on track, I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Lito, designation E97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Uh, if I could do more? Cool. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. Oh, so is this going to be a recurring thing then? That we get sort of specific requests? Possibly. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Well, let's uh, check on this one. What What is this then? Colonist ID designations. Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In a CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like uh, caring about a middle name. Do you All right, then. Yours? Yeah, absolutely. I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company. Even before you were made Pathfinder. Rider Pathfinder. Specialist designation A03 Malapa. Hmm. Something interesting? An A and low odds. Hmm. Someone's an early adopter. Uh huh. Sounds reasonable, yes. Another time. Pathfinder. Alright then. So that's uh, good. Is that just dumb then? No, return to Prodromos. All right, we have to go back to Eos. Uh, there might be a couple of things that we do as well before going to Ghidorah, by the way. That would be one of them. Uh, what have we updated here then? Liam Costa, Armor Diplomacy. Build Liam's research project. Ooh, how do we do that? Access development screen. All right, cool. We'll get to that. Uh, oh yeah, investigated for a sunlight now. Point. Yes, we got that. That's cool. Cool. Uh, Nexus to firefighters. Still haven't gotten that mail. That's incompleted. And I think that none of this is on here. I think we can check the maps, but that is only this location. All right then. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's go to first EOS and then Havarl, because we have stuff to return there. All right then, back on EOS. Isn't it lovely to be back? All right then, let's have a bit of a chat with Darket Tervian. Pathfinder, Darket Tervian. I understand I was pulled from cryo ahead of schedule. My family is grateful, but I consider it my debt. Everyone gets out eventually. That may be, but the least I can do is show you the benefit. I'm exo studies now, but in a former life, let's say I knew tactics. If I supplied the ket on this planet, I'd drift it in. And there's only so many gravitational paths. Here's some navs to check for anomalies. Good hunting, 
Pathfinder. Uh huh. So that is in the, the Pythias system, apparently. So not necessarily on this planet, right? Doesn't look so. No. All right, then. Cool. Uh, let's actually get out and see what I need to do about that. Anomaly on sensors. There we go. There are anomalies. We have one over here. Probes launched. Get uh -huh. a scan. So is there going to be more immediately, or do we need to do this first? I suppose we need to do this first. Our Turian friend on Eos has good instincts. Let's check it out. Uh huh. That's a whole bunch of random stuff. Like a lot of them. Cool. Don't need to scan this, I don't think. Is there going to be one more then? Anomaly on sensors. Yes, there is. So something over there. Oh, yeah, let's Anomaly. check that out as well. Possible cat supplies, just like Dark had suggested. Cool. I don't know why it says debris. I mean, they're clearly on, so... <laughs> Alright then. That is a lot more Andromeda viability. A lot. A few more Andromeda viability points. And some more stuff as well that we can sell. Lovely. Alright then, so that's done. I uh, don't think I need to have that in. Which means that we are now going over to Havarl. And we are back on the sort of spire thingamajig, the one that we ascended, because this is indeed where we are returning this mission. I say return, let's hope there's nothing more. Ooh, what can we... Ooh, we can scan this thing. There we go. That's nice. More points. Hello, Sage Armored. Did you find anything about my sister? Carla was right. They documented everything. Your sister was moved across Havarl. This data drive should have the specifics. Thank you. With all this information, I could see Amara again. But the thought of leaving frightens me. This is my home. If I leave, I abandon my duties. What if I never get to come home again? Well, I really can't decide that for you, but fear should really not be a stopping point. Everyone gets scared. It passes. Amara's your sister. And home is often a person, and not a place. I will swallow my fear. Thank you for this. For helping an old man. Well, there you go. And good thing I did that, because I actually leveled up. Getting closer to level 30, which is very interesting, because that means that I'm going to be able to get a new weapon. Alright then, uh, as a final thing, then let's just check in on this. Because I can max out containment, and that gives me this one. Biotic area effect radius and effect force. Now with that we're up to 84 invested points, uh, which means that for Vanguard we have done the 78 points needed. Actually I had already done that, but that's fine. So I'm gonna go over to combat. And I might have some options for this. We'll give that a bit of a think, I believe. Uh, as for Jal, can I... have I done this now? No, it is, uh, it is indeed still uh, unavailable to me. All right, I'll keep saving those uh, points for you then. All right then, bunch of uh, finished missions. I think that... Uh, all right, well actually... Hmm. All right, I can't do that one. I should probably have done that. Uh, yes, can't do that. Uh, not, not that one, that is that one. Uh... Still haven't found that planet. Uh, we are waiting on PB. We are waiting on Cora. We are still doing that one. We are still looking for worlds indeed. I suspect that that finishes when we found all five, possibly. Uh, this one we'll see about us. Uh, still more on hold. But yeah, okay. You know what we'll start the next episode with? We'll start with this one. We do have a lead, and that is for Jal's... Uh, as for the rest, uh, these are just stuff that we are going to get to. The Nexus, we still have this one, we're waiting for that mail, and we have the Architect on Vold. There is a bunch of stuff on this planet that I don't really know how to do, uh, apart from just combing it clean. I don't really feel like doing that, so we'll see if I ever do that. Shall see. So, uh, first off, to Vold again and see how long that takes us. And if uh, it doesn't take very long, then it is off to 
Kedora. That is what's coming up. For now, though, this has been Ghost with Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.